Ah, ah, What's good, everybody? It's your boy back with another match video. I'll be reacting to the Mandarin. Wait a minute. The Mandarin. Wow, what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, uh, wow, I don't forget what I'm Uh, the, the Mandalorian. <laughs> The Mandalorian Season 1 Episode 3 dropped today. So, I'm finally looking at it. Been busy all day, tearing up carpet, moving shit, uh, getting the floors ready to put down the floor, stuff like that. So, my back is hurting. My knees hurt. I have bad knees. <laughs> but anyway. Um, where do we leave off? Uh, he had to get that egg. Uh, little baby Yoda lifted a, uh, a rhino, space rhino off the ground. And the Mandalorian killed it. So, we see that either, either this baby has been, they've been, tr someone's been training him in the ways of the Jedi or maybe like I said with the force powers stuff like that or Yoda's species is just force sensitive more than everyone else so they can adapt and become it. I've been, I've been seeing people saying that um, before I'm, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit I've been seeing some people most on Instagram say oh this is like if, if this is like a Yoda thing where Yoda's Yoda species are just instantly born with that type of Jedi damn, I guess being close to midichlorians or whatever midichlorian account if you want to go that way then they said they're kind of like a, what is that, a Mary Sue or whatever they call it like with a, with a, I won't say princess like a, the new chick from the movie from the new movies why am I forgetting her name Ray uh, like people said like because I will say with her the only thing I thought, as you want to say, like, is a Mary Sue, is the lightsaber fight that she had with Kylo Ren. I'm not, I'm not against, I'm not against when people, when, when you have something like, oh, this species is force sensitive, or this particular person just happens to be born and they're just force sensitive. For, it's just kind of like random with certain species, but certain species, like I said, with Yoda, every, all of them are force sensitive you know or like more force sensitive than everyone else or mostly everyone else but the the thing that i have a problem with is with the the lightsaber like i say ray shouldn't have been able to beat kylo ren just being a lightsaber they should have showed her using more of force powers and stuff like that maybe using that in conjunction with her fighting with a lightsaber to beat him you know because I just like she never used a lightsaber because she used a staff, but that's not the same as a lightsaber. That's like saying, oh, because I can fight with a bow staff, that means I can fight with a sword. Especially like a double sided sword. So, <laughs> like a lightsaber is all sided. <laughs> you don't know how to use that, you will fuck yourself up real quick with <laughs> a lightsaber. Like, it takes immense skill. So that's why they, they teach them from childhood to learn like how to fight with a lightsaber and stuff like that. So as I said, in that fight, they should have had her use. Maybe she's losing when she when they're going at it with the lightsaber because Kyle Kyler should have been a better lightsaber fighter than she was. But then you maybe she like I said hit him in the back. So kind of like the way Dark Vader was doing when he fought uh, Luke Skywalker and. And probably strikes back. Even though he was just doing that, just kind of be a dick. Like he was just like, <laughs> he was just hitting him with a bunch of shit. Like she could, I just think she could have did that and then maybe get a hit in and stuff like that. You know, just just change it up a little bit to make it like, well, okay, you can't, she can't defeat him because 
with a you know lightsaber fight because she hasn't been really trained as much as he has in lightsaber fight. You know, but anyway, this is how I feel about it. But I've been seeing a lot of people jump on this and he better not be if he if Yoda is if the Yoda species is just for him, they're just able to do it. This is stupid. I'm like, dude. Plus the baby is supposed to be fifty years old. Like I said, you don't know we're assuming stuff we don't know. So I'm like, he's probably he could have been trained. He's fifty years old. <laughs> like I don't know how long uh they stay, you know, a, a baby. Because, oh, like I said, Yoda was, what, 809 years old when he died? Like, he, this baby already has gray hair on his head and, and age lines and shit in his face. So, I don't know if his age lines could just be the way their face is. But anyway, we're talking too much about five minutes. So, without further ado, here. I knew Disney was going to bring out, going to bust out the, uh, the merch, I've already heard they they doing it, so, yeah, I'm not surprised. No idea if he wants to eat it or hang it on his wall, but he's very antsy. Oh, did he take that off? <laughs> not a toy. <laughs> oh, those things are adorable. <laughs> easy with that. You take it easy. Here we go. Here we go. Now cut his eyes out. It's about to blow up or some shit. She like, damn. These were cast in an imperial smelter. These are the spoils of the great purge. Our world was shattered by the empire with whom this coward shares tables. <laughs> Ooh, he's a big boy. The <laughs> no is no longer. Have you ever removed your helmet? No. Has it ever been removed by others? Never. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Let's sit your ass down, boy. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way I have spoken. <laughs> so I want is the Mandalorian like a cult? Kinda of more like than I thought they were like a species. I knew it. I said everybody go turn around and look at her when he comes in. Oh, he laid it out. Ah Mando! Dang. They all hate you, Mando, because you're a legend. Even I'm rich. Now, how oh, can he I get that too? To my most valuable partner. Oh boy, he gonna go back. Uh oh. Here we go. Don't 
hurt her. It's just a child. Please. No. No! No! Please! No! No! What did you do to it? What did you do to it? I, I protected him. I, I protected him. If it wasn't for me, he would already be dead. Please. Now you really want to kill him. He's like, shake him. Oh, he's gone. He just Batmaned out of there. Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? Mando, the package down. Step aside. I'm going to my ship. You try to stop us, we kill you, and we strip your body for parts. Ooh. He gonna do something. He gonna do something. He gonna make him stop or some shit. Oh. You need to get an automatic start, dude. Hold it, Mando. He, uh, knew it. I didn't want it to come to this. But then you broke the code. Oh, he still got this stuff on. Dude, right where his heart is. That's why I was keeping my wallet right there just in case someone shoots me right. Look, actually, it's a lot smaller than a deer. You just gotta get one of those. Ah, uh, but I ain't gonna talk. That was fucking awesome. I learned I, I said he's gonna go back. I said he's gonna go back. Or he's gonna go on his ship and baby was gonna be going there somehow. Like he walked there or forced somebody to he's like, hey, take me over. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. Uh, I'm glad I know Carl Urban's kinda of like a, a bad guy. He, I, I think he's gonna turn around. I think. He's gonna turn around. But uh I knew he, I said, he still had that, that stuff on him, so he it it, it was uh, they gonna ricochet off of that. But, uh, oh, okay. and when they all came and helped him, I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, no. <laughs> I was like, why don't you have a jetpack? I was thinking, I said, you could just jetpack out of it. He doesn't have one, but everybody else has one. Why don't you? Have one? That probably would have been pretty helpful when you find that. What he said, a mud horn or whatever. <laughs> John Favreau, he gets a creative by that. Like, yeah, that was like that, that directed or he wrote it. Or whatever, but, oh man, I am loving this show just more and more and more. I love that. I loved everything about that. 
all that. I'm actually at first I was kind of apprehensive about the, uh, the, you know, thirty minutes, forty minute episodes, but you know what? Short, sweet, to the point. Not too much, not too little. Just they shaved off just enough fat to just make it great the entire time and make you on the edge of your seat where you want to pay more and more attention where you want more but yeah you have to wait till the next episode and yeah, that's good I'm like sitcoms things real quick I thought it just stopped with it I guess it's like sitcoms where they're only like what 32 33 minutes long or whatever <laughs> You, you, especially if you have a really good one and it goes like that ah dang like I want to see more of that but well they uh, anyway I was like are they even that long <laughs> or are they the long commercials but anyway great episode I, I'm, I'm curious who that I think that must just be a scientist because he was the one doing I guess the uh, dissecting or that ball maybe that ball's doing <laughs> But when he, when he's when he pulled that was, that was such a like a uh, not not a three ten in Yuma moment, but like a like a fistful of dollars. I can't remember one of those where Clay Eastwood was like completely surrounded and he just started shooting off like and but it, it missed me. He actually had to get out of the way. Clay Eastwood just would just shoot people standing still. And no one can hit him. <laughs> oh, I felt, that was so satisfying to see him kill all Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper, like, it's just, it, it is so satisfying. It's like, that's the most satisfying cannon fodder I've seen in pretty anything. Like, Stormtrooper is just, just see, when you see Luke, like, cut through the ass or uh, Han shoot him. Chewy shoot him, Leia shoot him, like, oh, everybody just shoot him. He's just like, it's just so satisfying to see those fuckers die. Like, <laughs> <laughs> more so than the, what the, what they call them, just Kari or whatever, in, in, the, in the MCU, like seeing those aliens die, I don't know, I don't care. Maybe because they, they look like real people, <laughs> like physical people in that computer generally. <laughs> but, oh, it's so satisfying to see them die. It's such, it's such pieces of shit. So you, you don't feel any remorse for him. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction to it. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very thoroughly. Um can't wait for the next. I hope this keeps going strong. I don't want it. I don't I hate to see a good series go down poorly. Even though it doesn't really affect me, like, I don't really get upset about stuff like that. But uh, I hate when the reaction to it is it's so negative and then like it's so positive and so negative that something just happened. with another show recently that just finished its run. But I'm not going to talk about that. There's enough people have talked about that. I'm not talking about that. But, <laughs> but I, I like, I hope this, even if it's not a great ending, I hope it's you know, passable and satisfying. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did. Make sure to comment, subscribe, share. Uh, I got Patreon. You can go out there and do full reactions and over there. And uh, yeah. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.